Okay, hi, hi student. So today I'm going to introduce to you a new technique for you to answer question related to trigonometric. Okay, so this new technique are being called as Queen Butterfly Head Scrum, or in short, we call it QBHC. Okay, so this technique can be used to answer question related to special angle in trigonometry. For example, you can see on my left side, Okay, so here example you have cos negative 150 degree and tangent 2 to 5 degree. So you, you can use this method or this technique to answer question by imagine a butterfly on the axis. How does the, the sentence queen butterfly heads crown can be related to finding the acute angle? So here is the general explanation of the sentence QHBC. So each words each letter represent the step that we will use to find the value for the acute angle so we start with the first one q which represent the quadrant so in our step the student will need to start the working with drawing the quadrant first and identify the location of the angles given second one is to draw butterfly which we will go in deeper in our next example all right and after we have our butterfly and then we need to apply the hand trick so hand trick here will help us to find the value of the acute angle given in question and lastly we will use the the, the calculation uh, which uh, we need to use to answer the real question given to us so, so this can be uh, represent by the sentence queen butterfly hits ground or we can call it QBHC right right so the question that we will discuss for today is this question so the question asks for value for cos negative 150 degree okay so since the question asks to find cos negative 150 degree so we need to use this qbhc technique to answer this question so we start with the first step which is draw a quadrant so as usual you draw the axis which is y and x axis okay on the axis you must draw your angle which is negative 150 degree uh, make sure you remember that if it is negative so the direction of the movement will be clockwise direction so this is the angle for negative 150 degree so to find the acute angle uh, we need to imagine the butterfly this is our second step so imagine there's a butterfly on the on the axis okay in the middle of the axis so you you choose the angle which is inside the wing of the butterfly which is uh, this angle here so this angle you need to calculate the value so we have 180 minus 150 and you get the value of 30 degree so this is the angle that we will use to calculate the exact value okay the third step is uh, apply the hand trick rule so you can refer to the video on my left side. Now you want to calculate the value for cos 30 degree. So we will use the hand trick to find this value. But before that, make sure you memorize the formula for hand trick. So the three main formula are given as follows, as you can see on my right hand side here. Right. So we have sine, cos and tangent. But in this case, in our case, we are looking at the, the formula for cos theta. But uh, another thing that you need to know is the value. Each finger represent, represent different value. So we start from the lowest finger, little finger here. It represents 0 degree. And then next, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and also 90 degree. So in our question, the, uh, we will ask to find the value for cos 30 degree. So 30 degree is here, means you need to flip the ring finger here. And you notice, uh, you can see that there is uh, three more fingers on top of your 
ring finger. So by using the formula, uh, you get cos 30 degree is equal to set 3 over 2. So that is the value. Or you can refer here in, in the notes given. So cos 30 degree is equal to set 3 over 2. Okay, next, uh, after applying the hand trick rule, you get the value equal to set 3 over 2. Okay, so this is not the final answer yet. So the last step, which is step number 4, is to calculate the question. Okay, the question asks to find the value for cost negative 150 degree. So we have calculate using hand trick rule. So we get the answer is equal to negative set 3 over 2. Okay guys, so that's all for QHBC method. So I hope that it will be helpful for you to answer question related to special angle trigonometry. And hope we see you again. And then with that, I raise my case.